The new government's high-level special investigation team to bring back black money could end up as a cosmetic exercise, says Rudolf Elmer, the former insider to the Swiss banking system, now turned whistleblower. Speaking to NDTV in an exclusive interview from Geneva, Elmer, who gave details of thousands of accounts of the Swiss bank where he worked to WikiLeaks in 2008, says that getting the Swiss to part with details of possible illicit funds requires immense political and diplomatic pressure, which he says India has not deployed so far. This new high-level body that India has set up to try and speed up the process of uh, trying to bring back what we call black money stored in Swiss banks, is this going to be any different from our previous attempts? Or is India completely misreading how complex and difficult this task really is? Uh, I mean, it's a good start, but uh, you have to have a lot of pressure on uh, the Swiss banks to receive information. If you compare that with the United States and the recent case of Credit Suisse, I mean, Credit Suisse got a kind of a very sweet deal with uh, the United States. They haven't had to provide any or only a few client names of the 22,000 uh, Americans who, had, who have accounts with uh, Credit Suisse. They only had to provide 250. Uh, names, so that's very little, and they have this very sweet deal. Uh, they paid some money, I mean, uh, but uh, as a matter of fact, uh, having a, uh, from an India's point of view, you really need to make pressure uh, in the sense of that you get, receive this automatic information exchange uh, on the one hand, but might even you have to have a kind of economic pressure on, Swiss, uh, on the Swiss economy. So what you're saying, Mr. Elmer, is that even a country with the level of diplomatic and political clout as America has had a tough time trying to get information out of Switzerland. So for India, it's going to be even harder. Uh, first of all, uh, they haven't, the amount Credit Suisse has to pay was very little. I mean, you're talking here about the quarter's profit. That's not that much. So. Uh, that's one, one, one thing, so they got away very, very well and on the India side just uh, creating these uh, bodies that doesn't really help uh, in the sense of uh, uh, it looks good for the public, for, for the, the man in the street that it appears that something is happening but as a matter of fact and that has proven the US deal with Credit Suisse and UBS, very lit, uh, only a few names have been uh, given to the United States and that's going to happen to India as well. I mean, US uh, is, a, is really powerful and they had a golden opportunity to get those names and they haven't received them. Now India is in another position uh, in comparison to, uh, uh, in another position to Switzerland and I'm not sure if India can really make that sort of pressure to get the names out. They have to make more pressure on the United States.